Mac users got a major update recently. Mac OS Ventura, named after the place in California, not the pro wrestler who dabbled in politics. Since this is a full-blown new version of Mac OS instead of an update to an existing one, there are a lot of changes, many of which are pretty cool, and one that's already proven to be very divisive. But before we get into all the changes, it helps to know if you can even run it. Most MacBooks and iMacs from 2017 and onward are compatible. Though, if you have a MacBook Air, you'll need something from at least 2018. Mac Minis from 2018 will also work, as well as the new Mac Studio, naturally. Let's start out by talking about a hardware improvement that Ventura offers. It's a feature called Continuity Camera. If you're unhappy with the quality of your webcam built into the Mac, Continuity Camera connects to your iPhone and lets you use its far better camera instead. It also enables a cool feature called Desk View, which uses the iPhone's telephoto camera to create a top-down view of your desk if you have something to share during a video call. But surprise, these will only work if you have an iPhone XR or newer. Speaking of video calls, another feature called FaceTime Handoff can seamlessly switch a FaceTime call from your iPhone to your Mac without having to hang up. Useful if you like to sit down at your computer for longer calls. But let's switch gears now and talk about some features that might remind you a bit of other certain platforms that Apple competes with. There's a change coming to iCloud called the Shared Photo Library, which allows you to share photos and videos with up to five other people who can also contribute to the shared library. Kind of like the shared folders feature in Google Photos. Still, it's a great feature. Next, there's a UI enhancement called Stage Manager, which was previously an iPad-only feature. Instead of having to dig through the dock at the bottom of the screen when switching programs or windows, Stage Manager keeps small previews of everything you have open on the left side of your screen. Although this is kind of like the Alt tab, live previews you get in Windows 11, Stage Manager features smaller previews that just persistently stay in a column on the left side of your screen, so you don't have to switch out of whatever it is you're doing in order to see what's open at a glance. Apple has also improved the Spotlight feature, which is their combined system and web search feature. The format has been tweaked to give more information for a given search, but perhaps more notably, you can now use Quick Look in Spotlight, allowing you to do a quick peek of a search result like a YouTube video or a file on your local drive just by hitting spacebar. Cool stuff, but there's another major change that, while meant to be more useful, is already ruffling feathers. We'll tell you what it is right after we thank our sponsor, Nexigo. If you're working from home and are in need of a new webcam, Nexigo has a wide variety to choose from to keep you looking sharp on your conference calls. Whether you're on a budget and need high quality video, or you just want the best possible webcam regardless of the price, their selection of webcams and webcam accessories will help you look and sound your best. Even if you're looking for something more in the middle, Nexigo has you covered. So take your webcam setup to the next level and get a Nexigo webcam using the link down below. The System Preferences app has been reinvented as System Settings, which looks a lot more like the Settings app in Windows in that you have a big list of categories on the left side and actual settings to toggle on the right. Previously, System Preferences was more like the Windows control panel, so the change does make tweaking your computer feel more like a modern experience, if you will. However, one big gripe users have is that it seems to be based off the iOS settings app, which doesn't translate perfectly to a desktop environment. Users are frustrated with the massive amount of empty space, as well as the fact that many common settings have been moved around, making them tough to find for longtime Mac users. It's like someone just comes in your house and rearranges their furniture for no reason. But there are a slew of other changes that are less controversial, yet still worth mentioning. If you've bought further into the Apple ecosystem with AirPods, you'll now have full control over them in Ventura, whereas previously, settings like double tap and noise control were unavailable on desktop. The Mail app is also getting a Gmail-like cancel send feature, so that's a godsend. There's finally a full-blown weather app, and you even get lockdown mode, which restricts programs and connected devices if you think you're at risk of being attacked. And for gamers, Apple's new Metal 3 API is supposed to more effectively use the GPU on Apple Silicon chips, which will hopefully entice more developers to release games for Mac. Resident Evil Village has already gotten a Mac release, partly as a result, and No Man's Sky should be coming soon. And while these games aren't super bleeding edge, it's exciting news for folks who have been waiting to play AAA titles on Apple hardware. But it might take a while for Max to shoot up the Steam hardware charts. I'll wait. 
So thanks for watching guys. If you like this video, hit like, hit subscribe, and hit us up in the comments section with your suggestions for topics that we should cover in the future.